another big avenue of excitement is targeted therapies. And, and very simply uh, described, we now know because of a lot of uh, important biology research that there are various proteins and growth factors that are either upregulated, in other words, too much of it, or downregulated, not enough of it there, that are driving the cell to grow or not to die. And these have been dissected out very eloquently by uh, scientists, translational scientists, and, and the pharmaceutical industry as well as the government and, indust and academia have created molecules that are specific for those pathways, either to turn off a growth factor, turn it on, let it work better, um, many different, many different strategies. And all of these drugs now have been tested uh, very quickly, I think, in brain tumor patients, one at a time. The new approach is to now take many of these drugs at the same time and use them specifically in patients whose tumors have been interrogated or looked at very carefully about those pathways. So for instance, if a patient's tumor is overexpressing the epidermal growth factor receptor, but we have many drugs and targets that will turn that off, but we now know that that's not enough that there are some things downstream of that pathway that prevent those cell surface blockers from really working. So we have to add something else. So now we're adding two drugs after we profile the patient to make sure that they'll, that they'll have a greater a likelihood of benefit. And clinical trials now oftentimes will only choose patients who have these favorable profiles that include two or three drugs that include two or three pathways. And I can envision very soon four or five pathways or drugs that, a single drug that hits five or six of these pathways at the same time. But we have to first get their tumor tissue, look at it, and make sure that they're going to have a higher likelihood of success. That's targeted therapy and multi-targeted therapy. And this is an important uh, avenue of clinical research that's uh, ongoing in many institutions. We have studies now where we only treat patients if they have certain molecular profiles that make us think that they're going to do better, like not only in the vaccines, but in the targeted therapies.